Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation. Square root of x plus square root of 2x is equal to x. And we need to find all possible values of x. Since this x is under radical sign, so x must be greater than or equal to 0. We use this condition to verify the solutions of this equation. Now we move this square root of x to the right side. To the left side left square root of 2x is equal to x and this square root of x becomes negative square root of x. Now from here we take square of both sides square root of 2x squared is equal to x minus square root of x whole squared. Now this square will be cancelled with this square root and at the left side left 2x is equal to according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This x minus square root of x whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2 times x times square root of x plus square root of x squared. Next 2x is equal to x squared minus 2 times x 2x times this square root of x plus this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left x. Now we move this 2x to the right side x squared minus 2x times square root of x plus x this plus 2x becomes negative 2x at the right side is equal to 0. Next x squared minus 2x times square root of x plus 1x minus 2x minus 1x is equal to 0. Now as you can see we can factor out x from this expression x times in bracket left x minus 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this x this x is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 2 times square root of x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is the first value of x. Now to find the other two values of x we solve this equation. We move this negative 2 times square root of x to the right side. In the left side left x minus 1 is equal to this negative 2 times square root of x becomes positive 2 times square root of x and from here we take square of both sides x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 2 times square root of x squared. Now according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. This x minus 1 whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2 times x times 1 plus 1 squared is equal to according to this property of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n this power 2 will become the power of this 2 and will become the power of this square root of x 2 to the power 2 times square root of x to the power 
2 next x squared minus 2 times x times 1 2 x plus 1 squared is 1 is equal to 2 squared is 4 and this square will be cancelled with this square root and with 4 left x. Now, we move this 4 x to the left side x squared minus 2 x this plus 4 x becomes negative 4 x at the left side plus 1 is equal to 0. Next x squared minus 2 x minus 4 x minus 6 x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6 and c is equal to 1. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b minus 6 plus or minus square root of value of b negative 6 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 1 divided by 2 times the value of a 1 and x is equal to minus minus plus 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 next x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 4 32 divided by 2 next x is equal to 6 plus or minus we can write this 32 as square root of 16 times 2 divided by 2 and x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of 2 divided by 2. next x is equal to we can factor out 2 from here 2 times in bracket left 3 plus or minus 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 next x is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left 3 plus or minus 2 times square root of 2. So, from here we get two values of x, x 2 is equal to 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 and x 3 is equal to 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 and first we get the value of x 1 is equal to value of x 1 is 0, value of x 1 is 0. So, we get 3 values of x. Now, let us verify the solutions of this equation. To verify the solutions of this equation, we use the condition x must be greater than or equal to 0. To verify these values of x, we use this condition x must be greater than or equal to 0. Since this value of x 1 is equal to 0, so this is a valid solution and this value of x 2 3 plus 2 times square root of 2 is greater than 0. So, this is a valid solution and this value of x 3 3 minus 2 times 
square root of 2 is greater than 0. So, this is also a valid solution. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.